So guys, welcome to our channel once again. In today's video on our Jam Biology exam revision series, we'll answer these 20 Jam repeated questions on respiration. So in short, to stay till the end of this video. Also, if you feel you want to answer any question here before we provide the answer, you can always pause the video and try out to see if you can get the answer to the question even before we provide the answer thereafter. So guys, let's start with the first question here. That's question number one. It says, dash be defined as the biochemical activity of the cell in which glucose is broken down in a series of reactions controlled by enzymes to release energy. A. Transpiration. B. Respiration. C. Excretion. B. Perspiration. So guys, the answer to this question is option B. And that's respiration. So respiration is defined as a biochemical activity of the cell in which glucose is broken down in a series of reactions controlled by enzymes to release energy. So let's consider the next question, guys, and that's question number two. It says, in Krebs cycle, one molecule of glucose releases dash of energy, A, 38 ATP, B, 28 ATP, C, 8 ATP, and D, 18 ATP. So guys, the answer to this question is option A, and that's 38 ATP. In Krebs cycle, one molecule of glucose actually releases 38 ATP of energy. So let's consider the next question, guys. Question number three it says, which of the following statement is not correct of respiration? A. Carbon dioxide produced in the tissue is removed by the process of osmosis. B. There are no special organs for respiration in plants. C. Gaseous exchange occurs by diffusion. D. Oxygen combines with hemoglobin at the respiratory surface. So guys, the answer to this question is option A. That's carbon dioxide produced in the tissue is removed by the process of osmosis. So actually this statement is wrong because carbon dioxide is not removed by osmosis. So osmosis is just the process that involves the movement of water molecules from the region where water is in high concentration or the region where solute is in lower concentration to the region where water is in low concentration or the region where solute is in high concentration and this is usually via a semi-permeable membrane so guys that's it for that question let's consider the next question question number four it says a test tube containing yeast in glucose solution was suspended in a covered conical flux containing alkaline pyrogalol the bubbles of carbon dioxide produced indicate that the yeast cells are a. respiring in the absence of oxygen b. being killed by the alcohol produced c. liberating oxygen on their own and d. living and consuming oxygen So guys, the answer to this question is option A and that's respiring in the absence of oxygen. Actually, the bubbles of carbon dioxide produced in these experiments indicates that the yeast cells are respiring in the absence of oxygen. And that's an anaerobic respiration. So let's consider the next question, guys. Question number five, it says, which of the following uses diffusion as the principal method of gaseous exchange? We have A, lizard, B. Rats. C. Grasshoppers. D. Earthworm. So guys, the answer to this question is option D. And that's the earthworm. So let's consider the next question. And that's question number six. It says, what happens during inspiration? A. The diaphragm is raised and the ribs are lowered. B. The diaphragm is raised and the ribs are raised. C. The diaphragm flattens out and the ribs are lowered. D. The diaphragm flattens out and the ribs are raised. 
So guys, the answer to this question is option D. And that's the diaphragm flattens out and the ribs are raised. So guys, let's consider question 7 here. It says, what happens during inspiration? So guys, this is the same question we just answered right now. And of course, the answer is that the diaphragm flattens out and the ribs are raised. So guys, here it is option B. And that's the correct answer to this question. So let's consider the next question, guys. Question number eight. It says, the gas produced during tissue respiration can be identified using A, calcium hydroxide, B, sodium hydroxide, C, calcium carbonate, D, copper sulfate. So guys, the answer to this question is option A, and that's calcium hydroxide. The gas produced during tissue respiration can be identified by using calcium hydroxide. Actually, calcium hydroxide is also known as lime water. And in the lime water experiment, we can actually observe the presence of carbon dioxide. So in this experiment, actually, in the presence of carbon dioxide, lime water turns milky or cloudy which actually shows a positive test. So let's consider the next question, guys. That's question number nine. It says, the energy released during cellular respiration is stored in the form of A, adenosine monophosphate, that's AMP, B, adenosine triphosphate, that's ATP, C, heat energy, and D, adenosine diphosphate, that's ADP. So guys, the answer to this question is option B, and that's the adenosine triphosphate, also called for short ATP. So let's consider the next question, guys. Question number 10, it says, which of the following does not happen during inspiration? A, diaphragm relaxes. B, intercostal muscles contract. C, thoracic cavity increases. D. Ribs move forward. So guys, the correct answer to this question is option A. That's diaphragm relaxes. So this is the only one out of the options here that does not happen during inspiration. Because actually, during inspiration, the diaphragm does not relax. Rather, it contracts. So let's consider the next question. And that's question number 11. We have a diagram here and the question says the most appropriate title for the setup is a comparison of respiration rates in plants and animals b measurement of respiratory rates in living organisms c quantitative measurement of respiration in plants and animals d comparison between photosynthesis and respiration so guys the answer to this question is option a and that's comparison of respiratory rates in plants and animal so you can see from this diagram that we have in the first container we have living animal specimen and then in the second container we have living plant specimen and then guys from this experiment we we'll realize that this is just an experiment to make comparison of respiratory rates in plants and animals. So let's consider the next question, and that's question number 12. It says, the process of transforming the chemical energy of cellular fuels into the high energy bonds of ATP in plants is A, photosynthesis, B, autotrophism, C, respiration, D, photolysis. So guys, the answer to this question is option C, and that's respiration. So let's look at the next question, question number 13. It says, the use of moist skin for respiration in amphibians is known as A, buccal respiration, B, cutaneous respiration, C, cellular respiration, D, pulmonary respiration. So guys, the answer to this question is option b and that's cutaneous respiration 
So let's consider the next question. Question number 14, it says, which of the following statements is true about respiration in living organisms? A. Respiration is the same process as photosynthesis. B. Respiration occurs only in animals, not in plants. B. Respiration is a process by which oxygen is converted into carbon dioxide. D. Respiration releases energy from organic molecules through a series of chemical reaction so guys the answer to this question is option d that's the option that holds true for respiration in all aspects so let's look at the next question and that's question number 15 here we also have a diagram and the question we have to answer says the aim of the experiment is to demonstrate a the presence of carbon dioxide in exhaled a b that a large amount of oxygen is absorbed by the lungs. C. The part played by the pleural cavity and diaphragm in respiration. D. That in animals, gaseous exchange takes place in the lungs. So guys, the answer to this question is option D. This experiment here shows that in mammals, gaseous exchange takes place in the lungs. So let's look at the next question. Question number 16, it says, which of the following is not a mechanism of inhalation or inspiration in man? A, the rib are moved upward and outwards. B, the intercostal muscles contract. C, the diaphragm becomes flattened. And D, the intercostal muscles relax. So guys, the answer to this question is option D that's that the intercostal muscles relax so guys during inspiration the intercostal muscles do not relax rather they contract so let's take note of that let's so guys question number 17 here says which of the following is a respiratory organ in humans a liver b lungs c kidney d stomach so guys the correct answer to this question is option b and that's the lungs the lungs is actually responsible for exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the body and the external environment. So in the lungs there you have the alveoli and that is where gaseous exchange actually occurs. So guys, option B here is the correct answer to this question. Let's look at the next question. Question number 18, it says, Dash is a series of chemical reactions which involves the breakdown of glucose to a three carbon molecule of pyruvic acid. A. Glycolysis. B. Glycogen. C. Cyclosis. D. Glucagon. So guys, the answer to this question is option A and that's glycolysis. During glycolysis, the six carbon glucose molecule is being broken down to a three carbon molecule of pyruvic acid also known as pyruvate so let's look at the next question question number 19 it says the surface of an alveolus in a mammal is well supplied with tiny blood vessels known as a capillaries b venules c arterioles and d arteries so guys the answer to this question is option a and that's capillaries so finally guys let's look at the next question and the last one for that and that's question number 20 it says in which of the following vertebrates does the skin function as a respiratory surface a lizard b fish c rats and d frog so guys the answer to this question is option d and that's the frog in frogs the skin acts as a secondary respiratory surface so gases can diffuse directly into the bloodstream because the skin is thin and moist. So this is actually important when the frog is under the water and cannot access the surface to breathe in air. So guys, this is where we end the video for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you're not yet a subscriber. Also, if you have any specific question regarding this video, feel free to drop your question on the comment section below and we'll ensure to give you a response.
ensure to also share this video with your friends to enable us reach out to more people and finally i'd like to encourage you guys to join our channel community guys for you to be able to assess our premium information on jam updates so guys thank you for watching this video